Debuting in the Metarot Reloaded manga as an Ori Meadow winner, this sweetie is the true definition of the aesthetic of steampunk. It is SPG Zero Steam Gunner. With a kit of Colonel, Giga Gatling, Shotgun, Biped Legs, and the leg ability of Assault, which is a brand new leg ability that adds up to 20% of the leg shoot and melee resist when you to power when using a scatter type skill. Now, as another Ori Meadow winner, much like Brave Man and Deer Hero was, this is the final int uh, entry in that trio of Ori Meadow winners that was actually from the very first contest they held back about five or so years ago when that manga first started getting released. So, so uh, Steam Gunner has been waiting a pretty hot minute or two for, for her to make her grand debut, but now is probably the best time and most certainly of no exception with an, a very powerful kit that makes it very clear that she is going to pump all of her enemies full of lead and then disappear in a veil of steam. Colonel is a support-based skill we have not seen too terribly often, but is still seen as a very powerful skill when used in the right context. What Colonel does upon activation is that it will grant a stack of conceal to herself and all allies across the team, which, to explain briefly, is 50% to their evasion stat instantly as long as the buff remains active. In addition to this, uh, the conceal stack also does allow them to, to graze an attack and either negate any uh, any incoming ailment based attacks that would hit very likely, but it also negates pierce and AoE damage for that one hit. And then of course the stack does disappear. But that is not the end of what Colonel does. In addition to granting that stack of conceal to all allies across the team, Colonel will also apply a stack of stealth to Steam Gunner herself, which allows her to be virtually untouchable entirely for her next turn unless she's already being targeted, and also allows her to bypass any shields that are in play, so that she, whoever she's planning to target will be the recipient of her attack unhindered. This, of course, can be cancelled if anyone has, say, Radar Sight or Cyber Core, or anything that does have the kind of Radar Sight buff that does bring to the table, and basically does shed into light those that are trying to hide. Giga Gatling on the right arm is a very powerful version of the standard Gatling skill as a scattered AoE, which means it will damage one part normally and then two others at random at one third damage each. But Giga Gatling comes up with a rather more powerful kick than just that standard conventional scatter shot. What Giga Gatling does is apply a times 1.5 damage bonus as long as the user's legs are intact. And in addition to this, Giga Gatling will also ignore defense when attacking. So already you're going to be dealing some very powerful bullets, but even more so because they will be ignoring any incoming defense or damage reduction that the enemy tries to bring to the table while the skill is active. Of course, at the cost that you cannot dodge or defend while in your cooldown phase, but just make sure you can cover her with a shielder or somebody that can intercept the blow just long enough for her to finish her cooldown and she's ready to go. Shotgun on the left arm is a new, relatively new skill we've only seen on one other model, and that was debuted with uh, Musketeer Rado, the new King Lion type. But to explain Shotgun briefly, it, like Gatling and Giga Gatling, is also a scattered skill, so damage to one target, and then two others at random at one-third damage each. But it comes with a little more of a rather impressive caveat. If you manage to catch a foe from behind in their cooldown phase, you instead will be only dealing minimal damage, at best, basically just love taps on a pea shooter. But, if you manage to catch them on their heat phase as a forward facing target, you will be dealing times 1.5 damage and basically a free critical hit on top of that. So, normally the big caveat with scatter shots or scattered AoE type of attacks is that because it's hard to gauge what parts they'll be damaging, it's really tough to actually deal what kind of critical hits you can deal with those, but Cross Shot kind of desensitized that to us to where critical hit is a critical hit and you really can't argue it one way or another, and Shotgun is most certainly no exception to this. And because both of these are scatter type of attacks, they do synergize incredibly well with the new leg ability of Assault, which will, dealing in a, which will be dealing an additional, at least in her case, roughly extra 300 base power when dealing either when using either of her skills on the board. On the topic of her specs across the board, in, her, in terms of armor, nothing really special there. She's not really anything to write home about, and 
kind of par for the course when it comes to female based models across the board. Base armor for the head at 3600, arms at 3100 each, and legs at 3250, so not too shabby. Again, par for the course, nothing really to write home about or overly impressive, and her leg stats as well aren't too bad either. With a base mobility of 837, she's most certainly starting off on the right foot, pun intended of course, uh, when it comes to base speed, and biped legs mean that she will have very solid coverage across most terrains in a very diverse way. An evade of 1344 is very nice, as it does mean she will have a very solid time dodging or grazing attacks, which honestly kind of ties into her uh, head skill of Colonel even more so. So unless she's slapped with a no-dodge penalty in one form or another, she will be having a pretty easy time making sure to keep her damage as low as possible. And if you are using ailments, well, good luck trying to hit her. Her big fall up, her big uh, Achilles heel in this case, though, is the fact of her very low melee resist at 616. This means that she will be taking a pretty notably higher amount of incoming punish damage from those that, got, that like to get up close and personal in her space. So a word of warning and some caution is best advised if you are planning to use her against anyone that has any kind of combat mastery in the melee based range. Now, a shoot resist of 1038 is just a little bit better Kind of that minimum cusp of where you really want to be in terms of the resist stats and keeping your damage at a min at the uh, decent damage reduction level. It's not anything superb, but again, these are the base numbers. So before she even hits the field, these likely may go up just a little bit more and kind of round her out just a little bit better. But if you are planning to use Steam Gunner in any kind any kind of uh, capability or capacity. Do make sure instead of pairing her off for speed, maybe pair her off with somebody that can boost those resist stats so that she can stay on the field longer and capitalize on that assault like ability even more so. All this being said though, as a pure set score, easily, without a doubt, 10 out of 10 across the board. No, I'm kidding. I wish I could do that, but I have to remain as objective and unbiased as possible. Jokes aside, I do have to rate her a very well-rounded 7.5 out of 10, Primarily for the fact that she synergizes with herself remarkably well. The Colonel ability, the, the Colonel skill can tie with her naturally high evade relatively well, allowing her to stay very dodgy and untouchable in the points where she can be, aside from, of course, if she is slapped with a no dodge, no defend, or whatever that case may be. And Giga Gatling and Shotgun as scatter skills do tie in and synergize nicely with Assault, so she will already be synergizing and capitalizing on that very high base damage that she will be dealing pretty much right from start. That base power of 1333 for Giga Gatling, that base power for Shotgun at 1406. So she's already packing some very impressive numbers. You just have to be able to make sure you have someone on the field to cover for her in those points where she can't really cover for herself. As mixed parts, however, I do have to rate her just a hair lower at a 7 out of 10. And my reason and justification for it is the fact that the leg ability of Assault is kind of gimmicky in the fact that if you aren't using scatter type skills in one way or another, no telling if this is scat uh, scatter skills of melee and shooting variants or just on or only shooting exclusively, if you don't have one of those skills on the team, you are kind of missing out on it. And that kind of begs the question of why are you going to use the legs like that if you don't have at least one scatter skill in the kit? Giga Gatling and Shotgun, it's very easy to say why those can be very good skills, especially because Steam Gunner is officially introducing Shotgun, and a non-heavy one at that, on female teams, which adds even more viability to what they can bring to the table, and the absolutely destructive capability that they can bring to the table. 